Hi there guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to run through, I, I need both hands today basically, so I've put you on the wall with this lovely view. I will go through that after, let's just do this first. So these are some laws that are strange in Switzerland. Swiss people, let me know below if these are true or not. And then I'll also do some facts that I think are really cool. Like the parking zones are free on a Sunday in Geneva. The um, Instead of having tolls like in France, you have the vignette, which is 40 francs, which you can buy at the border control or the petrol stations or other shops around. They're really two really cool things. But these ones, I'm not sure if these are true or not. So let me know. You can't urinate standing up after 10 p.m. Is that true or not? I, I have heard this next one. You can't flush the toilet after 10 p.m. if your landlord complains about it. I don't think that's to do with the police, either of those, but it's for like noise pollution if you've got noisy neighbors, like this noisy flag here, which you can hear, I'm sure. So let me know if that's true or not. You have to pay tax for your dog. Well, I think you have to do that in most countries now. You must have a buddy for your pet, so you can't leave your pet at home on its own for the full day. Is that true? Or someone has to go and make sure it's safe? You can't recycle on a Sunday. I don't know if that's true. You can't cut the grass on a Sunday. I know that's true. You can't hang out your laundry on a Sunday. I don't know if that's true or not, but I know you can't use washing machines and stuff like that on, on a Sunday as well. You can't hike naked. That's one of my favorite pastimes, so that's a shame. I'll have to do it in France. <laughs> you can't use a high pressure hose on your car unless you're at a service station. That one sounds a bit iffy. You can't be annoyed by flags whilst filming videos. That should be one of your new laws as well. Sorry about that, guys. But I do like this view. Um, your weed can't be too strong. So, yeah, they are the ones that I saw on that, that site there. Yeah, it does say again about the urinating one after 10 p.m. What about Swiss rules for foreigners? Well, there's a few of those. And now we're going into COVID territory. We don't, we don't want to do that again, do we? So let's take you down here. I'm speaking to you like a lovely old grandma now, aren't I? Come on, nice and steady. All right, so let's have a little look. This is actually one of my favorite views in the whole city. I'm gonna rearrange you there. All right, so this is Colony and it's where the World Economic Forum is, the evil place that everyone talks about. It, to me, it's just a normal building because I see it all the time. But yeah, so the jet is hiding behind the trees. Let's just have a spin round. That guy's doing the same as us. Let's go and speak to him, actually. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. Can I ask? I I you really? Yeah. Oh God, you're the How first. You? I'm good, thank you. You're the <laughs> first person I've ever you. met yeah? that's followed me. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Yeah, so that's cool. Well, yeah. I might as well ask you a question. Yeah, of course. Of this course. is a quick video about the strange laws in Switzerland. Okay. Do you? I'm not Swiss, so. <laughs> but do you know any of them, like the laws? The law regarding what? Like, well, I don't know if they're true or not. The Swiss people will confirm it, yeah. but you're not allowed to pull the toilet flush after 10 p.m. Yeah, it's true. That's it's true. Legend. <laughs> yeah, wow. And uh, the weeing standing up after 10 p.m. because it makes too much noise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, for the neighbors, yeah. yeah. If you live in an apartment, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is one of the best views, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. So, I love this view. What's your favorite part of Geneva? I think this part, honestly. Yeah. Um, I really like going to to the famous streets Rue du Rhône yeah I where love there's that. all the, the shops uh, yeah and always on the other side is quite good as well there's a huge park yeah you can see it from there yeah it's the park uh, park uh, oh, what's the name Pearl du Lac Pearl du Lac Pearl yes du Lac, there's exactly. a nice cafe there as well yeah pretty good have you ever done the boat trip no never no nor have I <laughs> but we if you've 
I've, I've been all around the lake. I yeah. think Lausanne is just a bit too small. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, really. but I did do a comparison with Lausanne and Geneva, and the people in Lausanne, they don't like it here so much, do they? Yeah. It has always been like this. Yeah, it's, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know, there's like a, yeah, yeah. small uh, bite. Are you French? I'm French, actually. Yeah, and where, uh, do you live around? Yeah, uh, I live in Divan, Divan les Bains. Ah, do, so that's over there? Yeah, on yeah. the other side. Yeah. At the okay, Swiss cool. border, but in France. Yeah. And I study in Lausanne. Ah, so you know Lausanne. Exactly. So do they think, uh, do they say a lot of yeah, bad yeah, yeah. things about Geneva? <laughs> so what should I ask the people in Geneva about Lausanne? I think they will do this. They will do this exactly the same as the Lausanne people. They, right. they will <laughs> so do you think that Switzerland, the people are a bit strange? They're always in competition with each other. I don't know. But honestly, I live next to Geneva, so I'm on, I'm on the Genevan side. Yeah. I, don't, I really like the people from Lausanne, I don't know. You, you like them? It's different. Yeah. We can all feel the difference. So, so they're just more Swiss? I don't know. How could I describe it? I th they all think that us Genevan people mm. are more French. Mm -hmm. And us and them, they really want to show the people they're Swiss. Right. So I don't know. <laughs> it is bizarre. Yeah. yeah, it's bizarre. I don't know yeah. why. It's nice that you're confirming that for yeah. me. Yeah. But yeah. thank you anyway. It's my pleasure. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I wish you luck with your studies. What are you thank studying? You very much. At EHL, Ecole Théâtre de Lausanne. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. And did you try in Geneva, or is it just better there for, for the. Honestly, this is the number one hospitality school in the world in Lausanne. Ah, so yeah. So I just went yeah. there to study. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> good, man. Yeah. You'll get a, a job here off not Zurich's good as well, yeah. isn't it? I would love to work in Geneva because it's my favorite town. So yeah, I like Geneva yeah. as well. Yeah, that's well, they, they know that, yeah. don't they? <laughs> exactly. But, but thank you very much. My pleasure. Good luck. B bye. Oh, that was cool. So it's always nice to uh, to speak to some people. I don't know if the camera was too high there because I've, I'm actually using the stand for the, for the, you know, well, the stand. I just wanted to show you this. This is new. This is a new cafe terrace here. So yeah, like he said, it's one of the nicest parts of Geneva. We've got the boat that goes all the way to Vervey and then Evian, Tonon, and we have done that area. This land is so expensive. Now, this is seriously, this is one of the most expensive places in Switzerland, which means the world. And they've just got these old apple trees here. I bet someone's gonna buy this at some point. But anyway, so that was supposed to be some fun facts for you. Like I said, please let me know below what you want me to film in Geneva. I will go to the Uni Mall. I think I'll speak to some more people in the street like I just did then. And yes, I do this just to give you the information of kind of some of the more different sides of here because I always see people talking about the jet, the UN and stuff like that. So yes. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.